I'm sure that as we have seen in the past couple months, since around the end of February, we have seen high growth stocks plummet. Okay, we have seen workhorse go from a high of over $40 to now under $10, guys, under $10. And I think it is a steal. We have seen stocks like Neo, Tesla, all high growth stocks have hit the dumpster okay the dumpster the dumpster because obviously all these fears about inflation and all of this stuff but guys i actually think that the market will rebound and let me tell you why okay the past year all this money that has been getting printed you know all the stimulus checks we've been getting or all let's say all the curb that has been existing right the market does not like uncertainty so when there is a lot of uncertainty what do you think is going to happen right what do you think is going to happen obviously because of the fears of inflation and if everybody thinks that inflation is going to be massive the less people are willing to invest their money or the less are they willing to pay for um stocks that they think will do well in the future and i actually do think that duh inflation is a thing it happens it's a real thing it's going to be crazy i guess but not as crazy as the markets have been reacting to i actually don't think it is going to be that bad and now let me tell you why because obviously i feel like the feds are obviously going to try to stabilize the increase in inflation right obviously we we or like most people i don't think everybody wants a dollar to crash right and as much as we love our crypto i don't think we're ready for it yet but once they start releasing more data about inflation around august and september i actually do think that this alone can help high growth stocks start to go back up again so if i were you and of course you know i'm not a financial advisor but if i were you i would actually go and put massive amounts of money because girl what are you gonna do with the money nothing so you might as well put them in stocks that you have highest conviction about and let it sit there in a couple months exactly the timeline that i just gave you what do you think is going to happen the stocks are going to start to rebound then everybody's going to ooh, ooh, that's going to push the stocks really a lot back up and guys like i said earlier in the video have you noticed that the stocks that have been hit the hardest are literally stocks that most people are investing or at least stocks that do have a lot of hype okay so like palantir went down to 19 dollars yesterday still such a steal neo tesla you know that other merger the ccib merger like you know all those um companies you know as we know guys with the entire um market bet wall street bet thing we know hedge funds you know we know they like what what, what do they like to do we know what they like to do which is why the short squeeze happened we know that they do like to manipulate the markets and you know that i got this the idea for this video when i got a comment this morning that was like you know um don't buy into palantir it actually went down to 18 dollars, but there it's it's a fake pump or a fake pump so apparently we know that stocks that as retail investors like to invest in hedge funds like to go mess around with them so guys i'm just saying i'm just saying that you know this is something to consider and to think about now i personally have been buying the dips on stuff that i have the highest conviction on now on this channel you know i am a huge palantir bull got in on day of ipo at nine dollars i'm a huge neo bull found it at four dollars but invested at eleven dollars so you know tesla also you know i'm actually i really like the high growth stocks a lot because they have a lot of potential, duh. And I definitely do think that when a company has a great business model and great fundamentals, guys, nothing has changed with these companies. Nothing has changed these companies, okay? I also wanna talk about workhorse, guys. Nothing has fundamentally changed besides the fact that there's a loss of, they lost one big contract to, is it, guys, I don't even know how to pronounce it, so I'll put it on the screen. They lost a contract, so obviously that affected the stock, okay, guys? So one thing that i would like to say that's why i don't even do charts and all that stuff on my channel because i like to focus on business models and the fact that guys we are investing in real companies you are not investing in the stock chart or stock analysis that's not what you're investing in don't forget that you are investing in a company okay and you need to understand why you're investing besides the charts and the technical analysis stuff, besides those things which are all great things and all great indicators, it is important to go back down to the basics of the fact that this is a real company, okay? Is their business model good? Are they doing what they said they will do? Do they have great management? Stuff like that, okay? I definitely do think very, very important to have high conviction. Don't do what other people are doing. It is, I don't even do what nobody else is doing. I invest in whatever I want to invest in and companies that I believe in. Because once you start following what other people are doing, that's how you find yourself selling stocks and regretting it later. As we know, I bought AMC at like, two, was it $2, guys? Or was it $1? And I sold it at 4 bucks because 
I did not like Wealth Simple. I sold it, I was supposed to get back into it, but I never ended up getting into it. And despite the hype, I have not gotten back into AMC because I sold it for a reason, okay? So there's no amount of hype that is gonna make me make decisions out of emotion. That is the point of this video. Please make sure that you are not, not trying to capitalize off of short-term stuff, short-term gain. That's why I don't even make those kinds of videos because I'm not that kind of person. And as much as I wanna make money, I'm not one of those people that likes to make fast money because I know anything that comes too fast is probably bad. So I like to take my time to understand exactly what I am doing. And guys, there is plenty of opportunity for you to make money. Take your time, do your due diligence and educate yourself. The most important thing here is to educate yourself and be able to make decisions for yourself okay now that is all that i honestly have for this video so i talked about uh different stocks so palantir and you know workhorse because that one also came to my attention today as i checked my portfolio and i'm like girl did you just drop that much even though i got into um workhorse at 17 i still not sold today i actually bought more shares so that is all uh if you're in this for the long haul you should be good on that note, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment,